Howdy, friends. Matt Shorty Wells back again with another episode on Matt Wells. That biz. All right. This is a really, I'm excited to talk to sing and about this. Uh, so I'm going to talk about a new podcast that is about nine episodes deep, if I'm not mistaken, from my founder and CVO, Chief Visionary Officer, a man named Cody Bateman, the man who sings the song to which I am in the choir singing along. Uh, Cody Bateman wrote the book Promptings, Your Inner Guide to Making a Difference, some time back. He wrote later wrote this book, The Power of Human Connection. Oh, er, 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 oh where's... Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. Well, How Relationship Marketing is Transforming the Way People Succeed. And the newest book uh, is a digital book, an e-book, uh, the Promptings Process, that is a book that I am actively celebrating and giving away. You can go to a link down below this episode, followyourpromptings.com. It's my unique link. For the cost of your email, you can download the, the Promptings Process ebook. Uh, you'll get eight, I think it's eight, a series of eight emails from us um, by opting in. You can opt out at any point. If you don't want the eight emails, I recommend at least wait and get the eight emails. You know what I mean? Uh, it's because it's a valuable conversation, I would suggest, right? Um, what else? Oh, and uh, read along chapter three as well. Uh, there's a, a link before below that as well. Just go to my link tree. I'll put a little button from my link tree. MattShortyWells.com is another way to go to my link tree, but there'll be a link under there for my link tree. In my link tree, it's got all, you know, all of my links, all of my links. Like Red Zeppelin would say. Okay, so the the podcast, though. All right, so I have been uh, on my agenda has been to do an episode about the Promptings podcast with Cody B. And he just recently had Bob Berg on. And I was like, oh, I want to sing about Bob Berg stuff anyway. So this is perfect. This is really, really perfect. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something else I wanted to say before I got to this part. Uh, but I had listened to this episode with Bob Berg Sunday. It is Tuesday. Oh, I was going to say uh, happy today. I failed to shout out Sean. That whole happy today thing was supposed to be a, like Sean Barklow, like the uh, Austin Powers character. It was supposed to be a shout out to Sean Barklow. Sean Barklow is like uh, one of my spirit humans. You know, you hear the people talk about, that's my spirit animal. Sean Barklow is like one of my spirit humans. And he starts his, he does a live like almost every day. I highly advocate, check out Sean Barklow on Facebook. He, he's a fellow prompting cat like me. But uh, I am enjoying his lives, and he's always like, happy today from the beach, or happy today from the whatever. And that was a shout-out to Sean, but I, I uh, failed to shout him out. So I'm just editing Matt here, and my bathroom's open. I was going to start it off by saying, happy today. It's Tuesday right now, and uh, I had a meeting. I'm in the 9 o'clock hour. It's 9.26 right now. I had a 9 o'clock meeting this morning with a real estate agent, personal friend of mine, who had to cancel. At like 8 30 uh you know I was like, all right cool so this little window right here where i would be sitting down with three four my realtor friend and then three others so about three to four real estate agents and i was going to show them the holiday card packages link below it's the most wonderful time of the year actually on the link tree holidays made simple it's october right now it's a really good time to get in front of that conversation and uh, just anyway, there's a video, a commercial of me singing in the park. I am that guy. Anyway, so we were going to talk this morning in this hour right now uh, about the holiday packages, the holiday times and hiring an assistant. We could either make it simple and easy or we could do it for you. Link below there, top link in there. Holidays made simple. Uh, I won't elaborate on that. That's not the topic of this. Um, squirrel. Anyway, the moral of this story is... Uh, that's what I would have been doing. So in this hour, in this period right here, I was like, okay, well, I got a little block of time here. My next appointment is until noon. Let me go ahead and knock out this video real quick. So real quick, can you do a video real quick? We'll see. No, no, already not. I should have looked at the time before I started. Um, all right, so Bob Berg though is on. And I link, below this link uh, episode is a link to the Promptings podcast on YouTube. Now you can find this podcast on wherever you listen to podcasts. I like listening to it on YouTube personally. <laughs> you get the visual and all that. And I'm familiar with the YouTube app. I use YouTube a lot. So I'm going to link it below on YouTube, but you can look up Promptings with Cody B on your favorite podcast platform. Um, anyway, I'm going to link that below there and you can look at the series and I highly recommend you to 
I'm committed to this series. Hey, I'm in business with this guy, but also, and this is, you know, I'm in the choir. This is, you know, my thing. It's a great way to one more way for me to stay in touch and in tune with what's going on and what we're doing as a, as an organization. Uh, but whether you're involved in our business stuff and all that kind of stuff or not, it's not even relevant. This prompting's podcast with Cody B is fascinating. It's very interesting. He's bringing on a lot of amazing thought leaders like Bob, like Bob, Bob blah, 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 like, Bob Berg, for example. Uh, so Bob Berg wrote The Go-Giver. And I went and got me some props as I showed you Cody's books a moment ago, right? So I, The Go-Giver, which I had read. I didn't look at this yet. I had read this book. I started at 727.11. I finished at 8.611. Read it in three. I really read it in three days. Anyway. Boom, there's that. So I like to write in the covers of my books often times. I wouldn't just grab this off of the top there. So I read this one back in whatever I just said, 11. And then they, they later, they, Bob Berg and John David Mann, came out with this one, Go Givers Sell More. And this book right here was really profound to me in a lot of ways. Uh, page 11, I read this one in 2012, sitting in my bedroom. I finished it. Oh yeah, I just read this a minute ago. I finished it 828.12 on Hurricane for Hurricane Isaac. I don't remember what Hurricane Isaac was or what it was about. I'm going to show you that. So one of the things that has I, I learned it in this book, apparently it's on page one. I'm going to bring it up here real quick. And uh, it stuck with me, and I never forgot it. Uh, Mr. Berg, if this happens across your screen, thank you for putting this work out because the, this, uh, this is read in, uh, written in a story form. I cannot advocate for this book enough. I mean, this is a really, look up thin, this is a thin little book. It's a fun, engaging story. Uh, I had heard, somebody had said the uh, main character of this book was kind of modeled after or, or inspired by uh, Bob Proctor. If you're familiar with Bob Proctor, Bob Proctor then that makes sense. And uh, that might help pique your interest in this book a lot as well. But fascinating book. And then they later came out with this one. But in the introduction, the truth about selling. I'm going to go right down here to this part. Right there. I'm going to read this to you. Selling is giving. Giving time, attention, counsel, education, empathy, and value. In fact, the word sell comes from the old English word salon, which means, you guessed it, to give. I love that. And, you know, because in society, we use, we seem to hear the, the word sell as a synonym for convince. If I thought selling was convincing, I would be repulsed by selling too, right? Like, ew, I don't want to go around convincing anybody of anything. Or even worse, we hear it as a synonym for deceitful ways, uh, games, you know what I mean? Kind of a thing, because people who are showing up trying to sell something, quote unquote, sell something, supposedly sell something, uh, are doing a lot of douchebaggery activity. So I understand how we get there as a society. But in truth, selling means giving. If I'm trying to sell you on this cell phone, Zoom is uh, is doing this little thing here. I know what it is now, though. Anyway, um, Zoom, I don't know to try to turn that off. I need to look into that. If you do hand gestures, see, okay. You do hand gestures. I'm recording this in Zoom. If you hold your hand up, this little thing pops up. And anyway, if I'm trying to sell you on this, oh, shit, I got to turn these gestures off. If I'm trying to sell you on the cell phone, what I'm doing is I'm giving you all the reasons of how this cell phone can benefit your life, benefit and bless your life. So I am selling you on this cell phone by giving you the reasons why I think this cell phone can be of value to your life, right? Anyway, so that's the kind of conversation that I really, really, really enjoyed with this. One of the things listening to this podcast that uh, Mr. Bob Berg had done with Cody Bateman, uh, the Cody uh, the, that I'm going to link in this. I didn't realize he had, there's two more books in the series. I did not even know that until Sunday evening when I was listening to this podcast. So two more books on my to-do. And I don't, I was, can, how did I miss that? Like, how did I not know that there was two more books in the Go-Giver series? Kind of embarrassed by that a little bit, to be honest with you. But also, I don't know what the release dates were of those, but I did it around 2016, really kind of unplug to a lot of things. Like I unsubscribed to all of my things just because my email was, I was not keeping up with my inboxes. So all of the uh, newsletters that I am still a fan of, I unsubscribed to a lot of my thought leaders that I tune into just because my inbox was getting crazy and I wasn't keeping up with things. So 
I'd have to check the dates on those books when they came out, but I speculate as I sit here in this moment that they probably came out in 2016 or after, but either way, there's two more books. There's four books in the series, which if you do watch the uh, episode with uh, Cody B, pop, the promptings episode, they'll, they'll touch on that. That's where I learned about them. So two more books on my series, on my to-do list. Um, one more thing I was going to note, I thought this was interesting too, because, and I had forgotten that Bob Berg is uh, in that click with uh, Randy Gage and Lisa Jimenez. And uh, I want to say Paulo, uh, Paulo Coelho, uh, the, what was his book? The Alchemist, the author of The Alchemist. Those guys are like, that's a, that's a little click. They're homies. You know, all those guys, Lisa, Lisa Jimenez, Randy Gage, Paulo Coelho, and uh, Bob Berg. And I thought that was really cool that Bob Berg had mentioned Gage's work. Big fan of Gage. You'll hear Randy Gage show up in my up in my testimonies a lot because I joined a company. My foray into network marketing was October 17, 2007 at a real estate event, a, a short sale real estate event in Orlando, Florida. At that real estate event, I was introduced to a company called Agile Enterprises. That was when I, October 17, 2007, I signed up to my first network marketing company, direct sales, multi-level marketing pyramid company. And I started making a study of this profession, what it means and what it looks like to be a network marketing professional. And Randy Gage, this author right here, was one of the three. I mean, that company was doing something around $200, $300 million a year. So that's a big economy, a circulation of money. And there was a handful of people doing really well in that company. Three of the humans that were in the magazines were Randy Schrader, Randy Gage, and Eric Worre. Two of those names are big generic names, Eric Worre and Randy Gage. If you're in the profession, you probably know those names. If you've been in a company with Randy Schrader, you probably know his name because he's a big deal in any company he's ever been in, right? Uh, but Randy Gage and Randy Eric Worre are big names in the profession, generic. They have a large generic career. But anyway, Randy Gage's work, I was introduced to through my involvement in that company, Agile Enterprises, my foray into this game. And I spent four years with that company. And Randy Gage has got a lot of generic prosperity work. And his work was a significant impact to me. And I was thinking about this, you know, I was thinking like it's some of the most profound work out there kind of a thing. And yes, I won't argue that. Also too, the, I think the reason feel I feel that way is because his work was a part, big, significant part of my story i started a study of prosperity that i got to turn that hand gesture stuff off because it, it just did it again i'm italian i speak with my hands i do this too much and zoom is messing with me here with my thing so i gotta look get in the settings and figure that out more of the story here oh so randy gage is a man who i've just got nothing but love and admiration and appreciation for and i found it interesting because this book i had started in 2000 and not read in 2009 i finished it in the jeep in jeep at beach on rainy day just thought that was cute worthy of note here but i'm started it again i started it again 9 2022 so september uh 20th of this year and i paused it to get into the big book which i noticed is right there you can see it the alcoholics anonymous big book i picked that one up and then i picked this one up, and that's the book i'm making it a commitment to if I told, showed you how many open books I've got, it's pathetic. Now, I finished a lot of books too, but I'm developing better habits of finishing what I start kind of a thing. Anyway, I had picked this book back up in September and I had put it down to start that book. And I've committed to not opening, uh, starting another book until I finish that. But then the Bob Berg thing came up, the episode came up, and I realized, I was like, man, I never did finish. This was the book I was actively reading, and I was excited to get back into this book. So I am finishing this one because I was too close anyway, and look how thin it is. I mean, good grief. So I'm going to finish this book, which I'm currently on chapter seven. Anyway, I love this book. I love Randy Gage's work. Through Randy Gage's work, I made a study of prosperity. Through Randy Gage's work, he introduced me to Catherine Ponder. I should have grabbed Catherine Ponder's. I've got three Catherine Ponder's books on my shelves as well. Catherine Ponder is a, she's a manager. Are you, well, she's no, not a human now, today anymore, but she, oh, I don't think so. 
Captain Ponder, uh, if Captain Ponder's alive, I'm sorry. I don't know the human. I'm pretty sure these are old stories and old books, but yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, Captain Ponder was a uh, unity minister as well. And through those works of through Randy Gage and, Ka and then Captain Ponder, I found my, uh, my spiritual family, unity, unity worldwide. So uh, the signature that this man has had on my life story is significant right this is signature left so he's this is a, a human who's been very significant in my development and understand growth so mad props respect and uh, some admiration and love sent to uh, mr gage randy i love you brother if this comes across your screen um hey uncle shorty have a minute i do i'm gonna call you right now uh anyway look links below to all the things i just spoke about the podcast check out this episode with bob berg i highly highly advocate for Bob Berg's work. Obviously, I highly, I'm conflicted about advocating for Randy, uh, for uh, Cody Bateman stuff because that is self promotion to me. When I advocate for Cody's stuff, I'm advocating for my own stuff. And there's some stuff I'm, you know, self promotion is beautiful. Self promotion is right. Self promotion is great. It is good to self promote. If you don't, if, you have, if I have a problem self promoting, then I have a problem when I'm offering, huh? Right? If you're proud of what you're doing, should you not be proud to self promote? The answer is yes. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T.R. Becker. That's another book that I highly recommend that just came to mind. I did a video on that one too. Anyway, mad love. Appreciate your time. Namaste, y'all.